Hello, welcome to Real Vomit Podcast, an extension of the Vomit Series of Podcasts. As always, I'm your host, Mac Taylor, and today we are talking about episode five of the Challenge All-Stars. Man, guys, this has been a lot of fun doing Challenge All-Stars. I've, I, 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 we are almost at the end of Big Brother Canada 9 here, so you know, I was really excited to be doing Challenge All-Stars because it was a change of pace uh, for what I've been watching. And I I had just, you know, watched a lot of some of the old seasons like last year. So it's good to see some of these people back. They've delivered and, and been some when it's come to the entertainment. And it's overall just been a very enjoyable experience. And it's also nice because this is on streaming so I can watch it. Like it was like six o'clock this morning at, when I was watching it. Uh, so I didn't have to wait for it to air at a time and then to drop on the service like the next day or something. I can get it done. Uh, and out and I, I appreciate that <laughs> so this one's called nothing but an og thing because you gotta throw in that old we want ogs as so everyone's a little low after the whole larissa quit uh because you know it's real now like whereas like the first few eliminations people kind of like i want this person and that person volunteered or whatever but uh, yeah someone got done dirty here <laughs> And now everyone's like, the game is on. The game is afoot, as Tarzan from uh, Survivor One World would say. So Beth and Cyrus hope to stay in this together the whole time, which is going to be major motherfucking foreshadowing for how this episode's going to turn out. Uh, so Cyrus wants to redeem himself from the ruins because he lost to Kohuta, uh in the ruins, which is not a bad thing. In the ruins, Kohuta was kicking ass and taking names, Okay. Uh, not a big deal to lose to him here. And I actually kind of sad go because I know Kohada was an alternate this season. It would have been interesting to see him and Cyrus like together. Maybe they could have done another elimination uh, against each other. Uh, but I don't know who Kohada like would have taken the spot of because honestly, this this cast is pretty damn good. But nevertheless, I hope Kohada does make it on later. But Cyrus wants to redeem it, even though it wasn't a bad loss. But Cyrus is the kind of guy that just hates losing and really... Uh, really gets uh gets heated about it like as we saw in the in the gala too when he lost to Derek, uh he was not very happy about that uh so alton and Derek are like climbing the banister like just like that little stone like pillar that's in front of the door for reasons and even yes is like yeah don't know, this is a great idea and alton's like i got this and everyone's like alton's a beast which is like yeah that's also gonna come into play later they always do a good job of like foreshadowing the shit you're gonna see later. Uh, and Gisela is just thirsty for Alton. She's like, I didn't even notice him on the gauntlet too, but he's hot. I see him now, and I'm like, yeah, girl, you get it, you get it done. Because again, I'm pretty sure at this point he's single. So again, I I don't know these people's personal lives. I just go off what I know about the show. Uh, so apparently like a day before, uh, Cyrus had tweaked his ankle. Uh, and so he's kind of worried that, you know, it's a, it's a men's elimination day that, you know, if he gets sent in, he going to be 100%. Uh, and like when they're walking up to the to the challenge, I guess Jemmy was just like super focused and had like this like face. And TJ's like, are you okay, Jemmy? She's like, yeah, I'm just in the zone. He's like, well, okay, I thought you were mad or something. You're scaring me a little bit. J- Jemmy's had a lot of good content this season. She really has. Uh, so they had to do the connect them all. It's like a mini final, which I, I think this is a really cool idea to put like little mini versions of finals. Cause like the whole like woods final always remind like reminds me of fresh meat. Cause fresh meat was always out in the woods. So this almost seemed like something you could have saw in like fresh meat too. So basically you start out as a group, you got to solve a puzzle, carry this big ass log, then you're splitting the duos, solve another puzzle, then you got to take a small log and individually run to the finish. So it goes from a team to a duo to an individual thing. I, I, again, I really dig this concept. This is a really good challenge. And up until this point, they've had a lot of like, you know, water challenges and the ice thing where it's like you like it, it, you could go in bursts, like you took turns and shit, right? Whereas now, like you got to go the whole time. 
you're constantly moving. You don't get to sit and watch someone else go. So we're really testing the endurance here. And like people like Kendall who do a lot of yoga, they're going to have the endurance here. And this is really going to show. And then a lot of the challenge finals, it's all about how long can you go for. And these, these OGs are in for it. Uh, and there's also no more lifesavers. So I'm like, thank God Mark used it or else we'd have been like, well, what was the lifesaver even going to be? Uh, so we got the copper team consists of easy Katie, Ruthie, Anissa, Darrell, and Mark. So again, easy and Katie are paired up on uh, the gold team. We got Kendall, Derek, Gisela, LT, Kellyanne, and Nehemiah. And on the silver team, we got Cyrus and Beth who are always together. Yes, Jemmy and Alton. Uh, the silver team really struggling with this early on puzzle. Uh, easy, however, does it very fast. Uh, which, you know, good, good on easy for getting something done here. Uh, he usually doesn't get a lot of, like credit. If he does well in a challenge, he only gets shit on when he does bad the challenge. Uh, also, I, I liked how they all had different phrases. Like when they were doing like the solve the equation to get the, the letters, like everyone's puzzle was different. I thought that was neat because you couldn't just like look and see and try to copy. You know, it could have been something completely different. So I, I, I thought that was a nice touch. Good, good, good job, challenge uh, competition makers. Uh, Darrell also has a great line where he talked about easy solving the puzzle really quick. He's like, that, that guy must have watched goddamn Wheel of Fortune all the time. Darrell has had like some really good confessionals this season uh, so far. He really like, he hasn't really had a whole lot of shining stuff in the actual episodes as far as like interactions with people, but he's damn good in confessional, which, you know, that that's a big part of, you know, my enjoyment of you on the show is if you could talk. Uh, so Mark wants to carry the biggest load. So when they go to carry the log, he wants to have the brunt of it because that's, I mean, well, one, he's, built like an adonis so yeah you would want to have him have the brunt of the weight and also you know that's that's like what mark wants to do and he, he wants to shine in these challenges that's why he made this series is so these old people can shine again uh, gisella on the flip struggling which it's been a long time since the gauntlet 2 which was her last challenge uh they never had to do anything like this before, so I can understand where she's like, uh, hey, this shit is hard. Kendall is annoyed with Gisela's weakness because Kendall, I'm waiting for Kendall and Gisela to square off because they've been like just at each other. And so Kendall's like, oh, Gisela can't even go carry a fucking log. I'm like, man, we need, we need, we need that uh, pole wrestle between these two because they 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 want each other uh, so mark really pushing his team like easy kept kept wanting to break he's like just a little further just a little further and he's not like gauntlet three dragging easy but he's like hey like just walk just keep going just don't stop if we gotta slow down we'll slow down but like let's go uh you know the good the good kind of motivation so alton though damn near passes out and I don't know where this came from. Alton has been like the physical specimen, but for some reason, his endurance over these you know last few years, which I know it's it's hard to keep your your cardio up as you get older. But damn, like he's fallen on Beth. Like if Beth and Jemmy are like, hey, what the fuck you doing? Keep up. You have fallen. And again, that doesn't take away from Alton's past beastness, but the hell. Cyrus has a bad ankle and he's in his 50s. And he's like, yeah, uh, dude, you got to go. So Cyrus is beyond pissed that they're falling behind because of Alden. Uh, so Darrell, again, has a great line again where he talks about that they have to do like the color puzzle. And he's like, I'm just confused by all these damn colors. I, all I see is a damn rainbow. I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. So again, Darrell, great stuff. Cyrus and Beth are paired up for the doubles puzzle, which is ultimately not going to be great for Cyrus. And the puzzle is actually pretty difficult because a lot of the colors are pretty similar and it's hard to kind of distinct one from the other. Distinguish. Good Lord, I can't even English today. Uh, so LT and Kendall end up in the lead with uh, Derek and Kellyanne not too far behind. 
And Kellyanne's like, listen, Kendall's the one to beat. So again, a lot of people I think are really going to start looking at Kendall in eliminations because if you if you want to win, you got to take her out because if she's in the final, she's going to be hard to, to, to finish off. Uh, so Cyrus and Beth really struggle with the puzzle. LT, Derek, and Kendall finish, you know, in the first three places. And Derek's like, yeah, road rules ain't dead. And I'm like, yeah, you know, good road rules representation here with, with, with the crew. Uh, Derek uh, also just really great as being a hype man for, for everything, even a show that's been dead since 2007. Uh, Katie and Easy barely end up beating, but Cyrus and Beth don't even complete the puzzle. They get timed out. So, uh, and, and Cyrus is going to talk about, you know, Alton cost him that win, but like, Alton and the rest of them actually finished before Easy and Katie. Like, you just really were bad at this puzzle. Alton, yeah, it's very frustrating to have with Alton, and I get it. But, like, that's not why you lost. You lost because you and Beth just did not do this puzzle well at all. And so Beth's very worried for Cyrus because he's automatically going into to, to the elimination, and she doesn't want to see him go home. Uh, so Cyrus tells Alton, hey, I, I, I want you. And Alton's like, well, wouldn't you rather like take on Easy? Like, you know, he, you know, he, I think it should be the people who place in the bottom. Like, Easy was, you know, second to last at this. He's like, yeah, but you know, you, I had a bum ankle and I still had to carry you through. He's like, yeah, I didn't perform that great in the challenge, but I still placed like way above. He's like, no, I want you. He's like, well, I'm not going to vote myself. And he's like, that's fine. Don't vote yourself. But I'm, I'm telling everyone else, I want you in the elimination. So Cyrus is hell bent on, on taking Alton into the elimination. Uh, so the others uh, kind of throw up Easy's name to, you know, Easy has always been someone that people don't want to go to a final with ever since the gauntlet three. Uh, so Alton's upset. Cyrus is determined because Cyrus, he's like, hey, I want to beat the best. When I play basketball, I want to beat the biggest guy. And if I lose, I lost to a really good competitor. But if I win, I'm the man. And I, I respect that from Cyrus. Cyrus likes to compete. Cyrus wants, doesn't want the, you know, easy win as people do view Big Easy as, he wants to go in and compete with competitors. And also Alton kind of pissed him off in the last one. And that was like the, the tipping point for it. And Alton's not really taking it like taking as well. Like I understand, you know, wanting to stay in the game being hated, but like do it in the arena. Tech shook, you know, Nehemiah's hand. Like at the end of the day, like we're competitors. So it's split for a while between Easy and Alton, but ultimately Alton is voted in and Cyrus goes to shake his hand like, hey, man, let's go in and do it. And Alton ignores him, blows by him with Gis Giselle on his arm. And LT's like, listen, like, I understand you being upset you're going in. No one wants to go in. But, you know, have some respect. Like, have some respect for, for Cyrus. Like, you know, you, you, you're, you should be, you're an adult. Be better than that. I agree. Like, hey, you know, at the end of the day, we're all here to win half a million bucks. And we all know coming into the challenge, we're probably going to go to an arena once or twice. You know, you got voted in. Let's go in. Let's do the damn thing. Best man is going to win it. It is what it is. But instead, Alton kind of wants to cry about it. Uh, and Gisela and Alton get real close. Like, they get even get in bed together at the end of the night. You know, Gisela is just getting in there. She's sliding up in there. Mark's trying to fire up Cyrus as is L LT because they, they want him to stay. Because Mark's like, hey, if he takes out Alton, that's a big threat gone. Which, if the final is anything like this one, I don't think anyone's really got to worry about Alton. Uh, so we get the wall ball elimination we were supposed to get with Beth and Arissa. But surprise, you're going to be doing it in teams. So Beth, since you placed last for the women, you're in with Cyrus. And Alton, you pick someone, and he picks Anissa because when you look at challenge elimination records, Anissa's been in a lot, and she's won a lot. So, yeah, go ahead and take her in. That's a decent choice. However, you know, Cyrus is jumping over the walls because Beth is so small and not really great at climbing, and Beth's punching through the walls, but Cyrus's bad ankle, every time he jumps down off that wall, that's like, really hurting him and so he's going really slow because he can't hardly like keep up with that ankle and so Alden and Anissa smoke Beth and Cyrus 
So Alton and Denise end up winning here. Beth and Cyrus are eliminated together. They and Beth is like, hey, you know, it is what it is. I had fun. This is a great experience. And Cyrus is like, fuck that shit, man. Next time, me and him, one on one, pull wrestle. And Beth's like, Cyrus. But yeah, I had fun. I enjoyed it. Because I think Beth coming in, she knows she's probably not going to win. She's not a good physical competitor. She's a great character, and she's just trying to have fun. We never saw Evil Beth this season. And even TJ, though, he's like, hey, you guys did a hell of a job. You know, if we're doing this All-Stars thing in the future, you're coming back. Like, you, we, you, you, you're great. And so, you know, although Cyrus is pissed, him, him and Beth walk up, you know, he's like, if I had to have somebody in my corner, it would be Beth. So, you know. The, the the best friends left together. So there's a little bit of irony there. And so with that being said, you know, all the Anissa win here, but like, I don't, I, especially as we get down, we have eight men and women left. And from here on in, all eliminations are going to be double because, you know, we have a big cast, so we got to start dwindling numbers down. So now everyone not only has to think about who they want to face, but who their partner is. And then that's when things start getting a little shaky. So that's going to end the coverage of the challenge, All Stars Episode 5. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think about this episode. What are some moments you loved and, and you liked? Let's get a discussion down below. It's what that's for. Also, down below, if you would like it, is the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell notification button. If not, that's cool. If you just want to watch the videos and have fun, hey, I'm all for that. Uh, until next time, guys, stay safe. Most importantly, stay nerdy.